Hello, everyone. This is Donald Trump, hopefully your favorite president of all time, better than Lincoln, better than Washington, with an important announcement to make. I'm doing my first official Donald J. Trump NFT collection right here and right now. They're called Trump Digital Trading Cards. These cards feature some of the really incredible artwork pertaining to my life and my career. It's been very exciting. You can collect your Trump digital cards just like a baseball card or other collectibles. Here's one of the best parts. Each card comes with an automatic chance to win amazing prizes like dinner with me. I don't know if that's an amazing prize, but it's what we have. <laughs> <laughs> Is he trying to be humble at the end there? <laughs> no, it was the first bit of truth that Donald Trump told. Uh, he's selling these NFT collectible cards of himself. He said these exciting things that he's done in his life. Keep that logged in your head as we go through some of these images. But by the way, the best part, of course, that first uh, piece of this is everyone's automatically entered to win a dinner with me. I mean, that sucks, but it's all we got. Sorry, it's just <laughs> me. Who of who approved this after this one take uh, wonder went through? They're like, hey, Donnie, maybe we shouldn't say that the prizes suck, especially if that prize is to meet you. I think he's a little bit honest here, but uh, here's the second half of this. There's more to this. How about this wonderful, uh, uh, <laughs> this is how he caps it off. See if you're ready to spend the $99 on this, watch. Golf with you and a group of your friends at one of my beautiful golf courses, and they are beautiful. I'm also doing Zoom calls, a one on one meeting, autographing memorabilia, and so much more. We're doing a lot. My official Trump digital trading cards are $99, which doesn't sound like very much for what you're getting. Buy one, and you will join a very exclusive community. It's my community, and I think it's something you're going to like, and you're going to like it a lot. They also make perfect gifts. Christmas is coming, and this makes a great Christmas gift. No purchase necessary, void where prohibited. Big, big, big announcement, Donald Trump, no purchase necessary. But if you spend the $9, then you have a chance to enter into this. They think they have to just say that. Uh, by the way, let's go through some of these moments of his life. Let's look at some of these things that you get for $99. And nothing else. There's that one time that Trump went to outer space as a space cadet. Um, except when he's standing on, I guess, what planet that is, is Earth in front of the moon, he can have his helmet off as well. <laughs> oh, but there's that other time when he's just floating and there's these streaks of the American flag behind him as his head floats inside of that. <laughs> I was really close to cursing. Then he's just, he's he's also on a, a, a NASCAR driver, or is he working in the pit crew? Who knows? Then he was also in Yellowstone Park, you guys. He was a park ranger, a sheriff, if you would. He's gonna hunt down those horses and those bison. He's gonna make sure they do the right thing. This is one of my favorites. Look at it really fast, you guys. He's out in Yellowstone hanging out with a bunch of horses behind him. Again, it's that same face. None of these uh, uh, um, photoshops, let's call them what they are. Are done all that well in the first place. It's not very accurate of who he is and where he's been. Of course, not the shape of his ass, because none of these indicate that at all. But here's one of my favorite parts. Uh, Decline McKelvey Hembry on Twitter pointed this out, and then I looked closer at the uh, fine print. Uh, and they say, probably the funniest part is the fine print of this whole thing, this graphic five. Theoretically, all these NFTs enter you into a contest to meet Trump in various ways. But if Trump doesn't want to meet with you, you get the alternate prize of another <laughs> trading card. Also, by the way, they, they said this in the fine print. If that prize as far as meeting with him is, uh, is not available or basically we just don't want to do it, we'll give you a couple more cards instead. I think that might be the, the broad range of this whole thing. Uh, there's more to this because the response from some of uh, MAGA supporters is telling. <laughs> We'll get to that, but first, Ray, I, I gotta know what you think and how many of these you've bought. Oh, um, I, as soon as I heard, mm -hmm. I, I ran, I ran to collect all of them, as many as I could, <laughs> so I can put them next to my Pokemon cards. No, I mean, <laughs> I, I would pay any amount of money to get Trump to explain what the blockchain is. Any amount of money <laughs> to see this man try to explain how NFTs work. I would absolutely love to to see that. I mean, it's but. Particularly, this is really funny to be happening now as the NFT market has crashed essentially into oblivion. Crypto is way, way, way down um, and he's getting in the game so late, which is funny <laughs> because Melania 
did not. She got in the game early on with her whatever token, her her crypto thing she was shilling was like bad. a year ago. So I mean, it, it's it's fascinating to see him get roped into this just as it's tanking, and I I love it. I I, I love to see it. The cards the cards are fantastic. They're gonna be the biggest cards in the world. Everyone's gonna <laughs> love them. <laughs> They're figuring this out. It took this extent. It took this cartoonish extent of madness from Donald Trump and grifting on these Griftmas cards to make sure that people that always support him no matter what begin to question for the first time. Do we have this side here of Steve Bannon, Sebastian Gorka. Sebastian Gorka was on Bannon's war room show and they were just disgusted. I want you guys to notice how when they came out of just the ad, they're running the ad, how disgusted Steve Bannon was, but then how this also continued. They're finally catching on, but not fully, watch this. Now they're called Trump digital trading cards. Okay. These okay. cards feature some anymore. of the- I can't do this anymore. He's one of the greatest presidents in history, but I gotta tell you, whoever, what business partner, and anybody in the comms team, and anybody in Mar-a-Lago, and I love the folks down there, but we're at war. Mm -hmm. They ought to be fired today. You came out with something that's so important, which I still don't think gets to the heart of it. And hey, you don't have three harder cores than Cortez, Bannon, and Seb Gork. <laughs> so when they're, and we're getting blown up all day on this. Seb, walk me through it. Walk me through your assessment of this, sir. Never should have happened. I mean, look, it's fun, it's hyperbolic, but whoever wrote that, that pitch should be fired and should never be involved in any, I don't want them making the, the, the presidential napkins for Mar-a-Lago, okay? Anybody who came up with that. If you wanna do this kind of stuff, you know, have, 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 a, have a peon do it, okay? Get, get somebody who's recognized in the MAGA world to you know, put their face to this thing and do it. But the president should not be involved with this. The president should not be involved with this, says former deputy somebody for Donald Trump, speaking to the other former assistant or or advisor to Donald Trump, Steve Bannon. Both of these guys worked for the for Trump when he was president, and he sucked then too. And they're calling for the heads of these folks who are making him look like a clown. You guys are all clowns, and you're just figuring this out. It's really weird. How oh, that works because there's a few regular normal people who are, who are figuring this out as well. Here's a few of the, I would suppose, former Trump supporters wondering what the hell is going on. This one guy says, wait, isn't this, this isn't the Babylon B? Maybe he's, maybe he's not a support, former supporter. There's another person that says, time to drop Trump. He may have been unfairly treated this his entire presidency, but he seems to be, dare I say, washed up at this point. One of my favorite ones is, uh, this woman says, I can't. I think I'll officially transfer to Team DeSantis. And that's the question I wanna ask you as we wrap this up, Ray. People, the other folks were saying, can I trade my NFT Trump cards for DeSantis ones? This might be on the back end really promoting and energizing Republicans, MAGA types to jump behind Ron DeSantis even more because there was few that were holding out because that was supposed to be the battle. But Trump appears to be sinking his own ship a little too soon. Yeah, I mean, and I hate to say it, but Sebastian Gorka was right. And because I said that Sebastian Gorka, you have to unblock me on Twitter. <laughs> um, but he's right. I mean, this is a lot of uh, celebrities I actually just did a whole project about um, celebrities using cryptocurrency and NFTs to do rug pull scams where they enrich themselves to the detriment of all the people who buy in. But one of the key things about those is they usually use someone who's a lower level a less a less well known celebrity or a peon, or a peon, a peon essentially as, to go as to Gorka. Yeah, to use the language of, of one Sebastian Gorka. Um, but he's right. Like the, the Trump being the face of this, them heavily promoting this huge announcement, and it's a, a dying form of you know what is essentially a screenshot. I mean, it's it's really silly. The pictures are hysterical. Love that for them. Um, do I think this is going to push people to support? DeSantis, not necessarily. Um, I think Trump has his hardcore base who doesn't know how to use the computer, so probably won't be able to buy the NFT anyway. But I don't think they'll be phased by this. Um, I, I think 
only time will tell. I don't think this is gonna necessarily, maybe one or two people who know that NFTs are scams. But I mean, I mean, Trump's entire voter base is people who were buying it gold, right? Buying into the gold, yeah, <laughs> being, I mean, it's essentially formatted exactly like those commercials are, gold and silver. <laughs> like Just that's, buy it and move on. Yeah, Politics. so. I don't know. I th- I th- I think we'll just have to wait and see. I would love for both of them to to never hold public office ever again, but we'll just I have feel to like see. the best way about that is for them both to hold their their bases and then that battle happens and they kind of tear each other apart. But if one hands off the other this soon, it may get a little tough.